very fast. He has probably in three matches on who's number one, he would have one total regulation <laughs> match time. Very impressive victories over very impressive performance. Luis Panza being one of them. And now here we have him versus Kyle Bame. Two people known for their lower body attack prowess. And there is definitely a, not a insignificant size difference here. Craig Jones has moved up in weight classes for this ADCC. And Kyle Bame has certainly cut some weight to make this weight class. And you can see that out there in the mats right now. Absolutely. Kyle Bame, very large human being. Moves very well for how big he is as well. And kind of Craig Jones really putting pressure on the passing right off the bat. You can tell Craig Jones looks very motivated. You can tell in his movements, he's very determined to send statements in the under 99 kilogram division. Now, his last performance did a great job versus Joao Costa. Calbame seemingly very comfortable playing the guard here. Another proponent of the EBI rule set. So being in bad positions for Kyle Bame is certainly not something he's not used to, but certainly something I would avoid with a submission machine like Craig Jones. Yeah, well put. And Craig seems to be waiting for Bame to invert, do a kiss of the dragon, and then I think he wants to go for the black hole. I think he's baiting that. He wants to get the underhook and swing around. Kyle Bame for sure is comfortable doing that. Inward, Barambolo, or kiss of the dragon, whatever you want to call it looking for the legs, and I think Craig Jones is, is counting on that to take place here. But also just working his passing on top. He gets the pass just as well. Absolutely. Craig Jones coming into this tournament has an 80% submission rate across all of his victories. 52 of those, 52% of those submissions came by leg attack. Those statistics brought to you by BJJ Heroes. Shout out to Andre from Beach of the Heroes. Holding it down since the beginning. Holding it down. He's got statistics back from 2011 ADCC. And here we see Kyle Bame with his first leg initiation. Craig Jones immediately getting his foot out of there. But you know, in the first, in the first bit of this match, I'm sure Kyle Bame is okay with that. I'm sure that even Craig Jones would be okay with that because they're just feeling each other out. Trying to see what kind of openings each other have. Craig Jones getting a little bit tighter now. Forcing Kyle to completely invert. Kyle holds a victory over Kynan Dwarch a while back at a five Super League show. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, that was in 2016. What am I? I oh, think. and a beautiful pass from Craig Jones. Phenomenal work there. Now, one of the things stylistically that we would look at with a competitor like Kyle Bame is if Craig Jones is able to stifle Kyle Bame in this position and not let Kyle get back to his guard, it could spell trouble for him. Craig is in a great spot now. minute until points come into effect and we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of effect that has on the pacing of this match chase yeah, so far Bame not able to get off a ton of offense right Craig's doing a nice job working his passing game but here we can see Kyle looking to wrestle up And Craig Jones really seeming uh, on the feet here like the more aggressive competitor. Although it's 
know that he did not cut any weight to come into this bracket. It looks like he's looking to push Kyle Bame around a little bit and try to impose his own strength. Curious to see if anyone pulls in the next 10 seconds. Points are on the way. And it looks that like neither athlete will opt to pull. And I think that this is an important thing that Craig Jones is intelligently doing in this situation as well, going with the heavier people, is being willing to have these sort of lengthy standing exchanges, these lengthy tie-ups that may not even really yield anything, but over time they might, if that makes sense. Yeah, Craig definitely looks more comfortable on the feet. I remember at ADCC 2019, it was an area where he might have gassed a little bit. I mean, it's obviously a very grueling tournament. Almost everybody at some point in their campaigns will. But he identified that as a problem, right? And that's why the work he's been putting in is looking to pay dividends here as he stays confident, keeps the pace. Kyle Bame matching him well at the moment, but again, not getting off a lot of offense, right? Just kind of staying neutral at best. Yeah, Kyle Bame has a, a very noticeable red mark on, the, on his back. I wonder if that's from something that happened in this match or the match prior. Getting a little chippy there with the collar ties. Big oh! shot from Kyle Bain, but Oh, Craig... but he's stuck in a guillotine right off the bat. Oh, that Will looks that good. be it? That looks good. And he gets the tap. Craig Jones moves to the semifinal. Beautiful guillotine off the shot.